Ladies and gentlemen, I am Israel. The game is World of Warships. It is just after nine o'clock on Monday, the 24th of July, 2017. The game is World of Warships, and welcome to Shipstream. Distinctly Germanic flavour, I think, tonight. After all, I've Wargaming have still let me keep the upcoming premium tier 8 carrier Graf Zeppelin. I've got a Bismarck, a V25, a couple of destroyers. We can maybe muck about with a few of the premiums. Maybe do a little bit of ranked, although it's... Well, I suppose I could take out the Graf Spey. That's one of those ships you never really expect to see in ranked. Possibly with good reason. But manual secondary captain, well, hey, have some fun with her. So, first order of business. I think we'll just start off nice and gentle. We'll start off with Biscuit. Let's just get straight into it. You all know the Bismarck, the secondary monster. They buffed her in the last patch, which is something of a surprise. She really didn't need that extra six, seven hundred meters on her secondaries, but hey, she's got it and I ain't complaining. At least... Not as long as I'm on the right end of the secondaries, but hey, details, details. So, what's the matchmaker going to give us? What fresh horrors? What? Oh, oh, hello, Missy. Conqueror. The tier 10 super test British battleship. <laughs> oh, wow. That was something I wasn't expecting to see. Excuse me, that's a ship Wargaming haven't even given to the CCs yet, and they're not likely to for some considerable time. Hello, cutie. Excuse me, I'm just going to be drooling for a few minutes, and she's close. I think she's... if she's not... Oh, no, she isn't close. She's 15 kilometers away. Guess where we're going to be heading? Follow that British battleship. Not least because we're right the way over on point C, and that's not a safe place to be if the enemy Shokoku decides to send a strike over. Isolated battleships, torpedo bombers. Yeah, you know how that story ends, especially with Graf. So we'll just turn ourselves around, toddle over, and... Oh, yeah. I have to admit, she's a looker. Looks like they've she's got the 4x3419 set up. Rumour is she's going to have the 4x2457s as an option, but they won't have Yamato's overmatch, which is a bit of a pain. So I suspect a lot of people are going to go with the 12-gun setup instead. There's no overmatch advantage in the 457s, if memory serves. But we are going to be trying to catch that battleship Totally not because I want to look at her as much as anyone else. And also totally not because if rumours are true, that thing has got a monster anti-air suite. I believe current build gives them defensive fire on their 20 mils and radar, which is a little bit silly. I'm not sure if they've still got the magic heal as well. I, if they go with that, I'm just expecting to get some Terminator 2 memes of Conqueror just getting blown to bits and then just zoop, healing it all back up again. Yeah, they're, they're going to nerf that before launch. They've got to nerf that before launch. You can't have a battleship, a tier 10 battleship, heal up a third of its health off one repair party. Anyhow, just tag that fighter squadron. Oh, no air supremacy on that guy. Well, well, well. That is interesting. Where has he sunk his skill points, I wonder? Because you can't get to a tier 8 carrier and not have... 10 skill points, so why is he not sunk into a supremacy? Huh. Curiouser and curiouser. Not that I'm complaining, because it means our Shokoku is going to have a significant advantage in the... Oh, wow. Oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. The air battle might be a little more one-sided than I imagined, but let's push up. Get some long-range shots on Comrade Citadelovich over here. Or rather, Comrade Citadelovich the Silver. Yes, I know he just disappeared, but hey... Accuracy is kind of a second best thing on these guns anyway. Right. Gearing's grab point B. Are we any closer to Conqueror? Uh, we've reined in a couple of kilometres. Come on, I want to see detail. Yeah, yes, I'm fully aware of how lewd that sounded. Right. Tucking in with the Edinburgh. 
There are the torpedo bombers, two Turpets, Montana, St. Louis heading for A. That Yogamo is probably regretting his life decisions right now. Mind you, the fighters are going to chase him off, but it's not going to help. There comes the flak, and there is the gearing, which is something you really don't want to see at that kind of range as the Yogamo, especially if you can't break contact by getting away from the fighters or the bombers, or in this case, oh, oh dear. Someone probably needs to go read a few how to CV videos. Now, yes, I'm aware I'm tempting fate by saying something like that. I'm probably going to stuff up even worse over the course of this evening. So. Fire on the enemy do, 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 do. Can I get a blind shot at that turpits? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. We can see a little bit of superstructure, so just take a guess. 19.3, rounds out, forward guns only. Probably going to miss something chronic, but hey, I'll take it. Then again, maybe not. Rounds down, two over pens there, yeah, I'll live with it. Switch on to the nearest target, focus fire. Turning a bit too hard to get the stern batteries into line, but we can always jing back. Why I'm bothering, I don't know, because he has just met a rather nasty torpedo shaped fate. Stern guns fired, forward guns reloaded, switch target, fire, get the bow back on, designate, oop, ow, 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 it's only one fire, don't worry too much about it, designate secondaries, and forward bow onto the man, Montana, also get spotter plane up just in case. Main battery, and um, waste of ammo for both of those guys, they're gonna burn. There we go, shocker cool floods one, gearing torpedoes the second, enemy are suddenly down two battleships, and I have got Comrade Kutuzov fight. no actually that's the Zhao firing, wait no the Zhao's over there, huh, okay fine, designate Zhao for secondaries, rounds out, full broadside, start healing back some of this damage, don't want to turn too hard because otherwise I'll skid out in front of the Montana, Managed to interrupt the fire, and I appear to have attracted rather a lot of attention. I just wanted to see the Conqueror. Is that so wrong? Well, probably yes. Okay, skid away. Flack on to the enemy fighters. Keep turning. Another fire. Okay, who left the schnapps locker open? Come on, fess up. Okay, now the Zhao is ducking. Keep drinking away. He's staying behind the island. Basically, if we... Oh, actually, no, I am going to have to turn back and engage, because if I get this wrong... Who just... Ha ha! Well, that was completely accidental torpedo dodging. And hello, Graf. Right, so... We have a Kutuzov imitating best freedom practices of the Atlanta and firing over the mountain. We have another Bismarck who is going to be trying to stop me. I'm going to put both those fires out, turn in. I'm risking eating a broadside from the Montana here, but there's an island in the way at the moment. And if I can just duck. In fact, I'm going to cut the throttle a little. Managed to get another intercept on the Zhao, but he is broadside on. Those 8 inch guns are going to start messing me up. Mind you, nope, there we go, we've got the interrupt. If I can just get into a defilade from those 8 inch guns, we can start turning this round a bit. But it may come too late because that Montana is about to clear the headland, and the moment he does that, he will have a clear shot at me. And I will be dead. Hydro up. Because, hey, if you aren't going to live for much longer, you might as well use it. Oh, Amagi. I'm sorry, lock secondaries. Match. And I am about to burn. Which is a bit of a pig. Okay, into B. That's jammed their cap. The Amagi has run himself aground, but it's not going to matter because I am about to die. Told you. Right. So, where's that conqueror? Come on, where are you? Where are you? There you are. Yeah, come on, this is what we all wanted to look at. Oh yeah, she's... 
She's nice, isn't she? Squared off bow, very much in the line of the Minotaur. Ooh. Yeah, she's kind of pretty. She's got the same bridge structure as Warspike. They've obviously borrowed from there. Similar superstructure to Hood and Warspike as well. I mean, what do I expect? It's a British battleship. Of course, they sh she's going to have the same design lines. Oh, yes. <laughs> Ooh, she is so nice. Schlup. Yes, totally not thinking lewd things about her, but forward guns... Oh, those bombs are doing a bit of a number on the Bismarck, but they're losing not as many as I thought they would to the flak, but they weren't getting that close to Conqueror, so guns out. Lock onto Biscuit again. And hmm. Rounds coming down, but don't think they're going to do that well. A couple of misses on the Bismarck. He's ignoring the Montana, which might be a mistake. Because if Julie 53 can collect his, her, who knows, wits, then that's going to be 12 16-inch guns pointed at him very, very soon. But, um, oh yeah. A lot of empty deck space on the stern, it has to be said. Ooh, we, yeah, told you if Julie managed to get her breath back, it was going to end bad. Hatoshinaku has seen the problem, however, so turned round, four turrets engaging. Stern turrets. There we go. Let's see where those go. Boom and. Boom. Ah! Pretty reasonable, but on fire now. 83,000 health, give or take. Compared to the almost 100,000 on my time, that's a little weak, but like I say, she may still have that crazy heal, so it's fire damage. She can patch it all back. Bow, bow onto the Montana, so going to be bouncing the worst of the 16-inch. Also got the enemy torpedo bombers coming in. Are we going to see this room of defensive AA? Yep, we are, and... Well, I wouldn't say the carnage is spectacular, but it was enough to get some battleship-grade torpedo beat going. Though he's not going to dodge, is he? No, damn it. Uh, did it hit the T-Locker? That's the main thing. No, I don't think it did with safe. Unfortunately, that probably did. Ouch. He, because he had to turn in, he went broadside to Julie 53 just for a second, and Julie promptly punished that. But look at the amount of damage it's saying he can heal up at this point. I mean, if that is coming off one repair party, that's a little bit ridiculous. Then again, maybe it isn't. That could easily be multiple repair parties. We'll find out when he actually pops a repair party. If he pops a repair party, broadside out into Julie 53, there we go. Oh my word! It looks like it is going to heal up the whole thing. Yep, yeah, they're putting the ship back together faster than it's burning down. That's... <laughs> that must be absolutely soul-crushing for Team Red. Oh wow. <laughs> well, he was on 15,000 health. Now he's on 36,000, and he's still on fire. Still, Comrade Kutuzov has finally been flanked, that took long enough, and the Amagi goes down, rounds out towards Comrade Sitadelovich, who ducks back into stealth just at the right moment, but was it a fraction too late? Hard to tell, we don't have his damage counter. Sorry, back to drooling over the British battleship, if you don't mind. I mean, she is... I'm not even a fan of battleships, and she is pretty. Ooh. Flax animated and doing its job. All those 20 mil Ehrlichans made less of a dent than I thought they would, it has to be said. More rounds out to Julie 53, and... Ooh. All of that health just suddenly going out, but again, he's got this massive reserve that he can just heal straight back in a couple of minutes. Assuming he's still alive, that's another 6,000 that he's lost to the Montana. He's angled, but he's not angled enough. He really needs to put another 10 degrees in on that, even if that means masking the aft turrets. And yes, I know I'm one to talk, I'm absolutely garbage about it. Yep, here comes the Mega Heal again. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, 
the Americans must be absolutely cursing at the moment. That was just ridiculous. How much damage is that that he's healed up now? About 50,000, give or take, off two repair parties. Fighters coming in, one torpedo in the water. He's not going to be able to dodge that, so he's doing the only thing he can do, accelerating and just prepping to take it on the torpedo belt, controlling the hit, turning in to, again, mitigate the first one. He's, might take this one forward of the torp belt. Yeah, no, I think he soaked that one on the belt as well. Don't think he's flooding. Those were airdrop torpedoes. They hit the belt. Minimal damage at this point. So, Julie is now taking focus fire from, frankly, everybody. And is getting just a bit of a pasting. It doesn't help that she, he, I have no idea. I assume she... Oh, well, that solves that one. That's the end of the game. So, hoo -hoo -hoo, good start to the evening. We've got a look at the Conqueror. And yet that heal is just as ridiculous as everybody is suggesting it is. We won't talk about my performance. That, um, <clears throat> that didn't happen. Yes, I may have been a little bit distracted.